Hello our tribe, let's make a beautiful rainbow theme fluid dirty pour and of course I'm going to make sure that I have lots of cells in here and I'm going to teach you all of my favorite products and all my little tricks. So first things first is that I like to use a bunch of different colors, you can use whatever colors you want. I think it's kind of important to always throw in a white and a black color as well. And with the paints I like using a medium body paint and the reason being is because I can make it into whatever consistency I like with the Floatrol or the medium that we're going to use to bring down the viscosity of the paint. When your paint is too thin, it's too watery to use. When it's too thick, you're going to have to add too much Floatrol. Now, I know some people also can, um, they use like glue or water and soap, but this is my favorite method. Now, the Floatrol, you can get it from any hardware store. You can get it on um, online, on Amazon, and everything I use, basically, it's going to be on my Amazon storefront for you guys. Now, Floatrol is a paint medium thinner, which kind of basically just dilutes your paint. Now, with a medium body paint, which this brand is the one that I got from Michaels, it's their brand, um, usually a two to one or a three to one with your paint with the Floatrol works pretty good. Now, you don't want your paint to be super watery and you don't want it to be super thick. Now, you gotta think about when you put your um, colors in your cup, which we're gonna do in a second, you wanna make sure that the colors kind of don't mix together. Not too much, it's gonna happen a little bit, but you don't want them to completely blend. Now, in every cup, you put your colors, you put your Floatrol, and you wanna mix that up really, really good. You wanna make sure there are no clumps in there. Now, I was kind of, you know, distracted by the filming while I was doing this. You're gonna see that some of my paint might have a little bit of chunks in it, so do a little bit better, mix it up. Something that you can do to avoid chunks as well is add your Floatrol just a little bit at a time, mix it into the paint and makes it easier to dilute the paint. So we got it all. Now this is my secret, secret weapon. Now any silicone will work, but this is what was the first silicone I used. I literally went to Home Depot, asked for silicone, and I think this is kind of used for <laughs> car engines, to be honest, or like squeaky doors or machinery, like things like that. Um, it doesn't really leave too much of a residue. I love it. The more silicone you add, the more cells you're gonna have and that's basically it so you gotta kind of like you know test it out and see how much it gives you it takes a little bit of practice now what you're seeing here is i'm pouring the paint kind of down the side of the cup because i don't want the paint to kind of like slush on the bottom so i just kind of you know randomly color over color go little by little and once my colors kind of get you know higher in the cup i start adding the colors just in the middle you can keep pouring it on the side if you want it's you know it's just a lot of fun it doesn't really matter guys the thing about fluid painting that i love so much and these like dirty pores is you kind of never know what you're gonna get and it just i don't know it's just really fun now you might say that this is a lot of paint for this one canvas yes i get it but the more paint you have in your cup when you flip it over the paint doesn't like slush as much and it doesn't get mixed up now I like was using my wood canvases here so that my paint doesn't kind of like move around and watch the magic. Oh my god, I really, really love this pour. Now, I kind of wish that I paid more attention and didn't get rid of that orange that was on the right bottom side, but I still love it and it looks like a weird galaxy and it looks like there's like really bright light coming in from under those like big blue hole spots it's absolutely gorgeous now this one area over there i just saw it was kind of just brownie i didn't kind of like it so i just added a little bit from the bottom of my cup and this is it look at how gorgeous this turned out now this takes a few days to dry guys i'm not gonna lie it's one thing that i hate about fluid pour as opposed to like my resin art resin you know you know how like it's gonna dry in a certain amount of time so this painting took a while a few days to like fully fully dry and you want to leave it completely dry before we varnish now once it does again the silicone doesn't leave too much residue but once it's super super dry i take a little bit of alcohol rubbing alcohol i usually use the 70 or the 90 percent and i wipe it down just to make sure i get any oils off and i decided to use a regular varnish for this this is the liquitex um this is the glossy one they also have matte versions if you don't want your painting glossy and if you just want it matte like it was before but if you're not going to add really resin on it or anything like that you want to make sure that you know the colors don't fade over time because you know lights and um uv rays and stuff can dull your paint and that is it my darlings now after three four layers you just let it dry up 
and you have your beautiful painting. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys learned. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments area. And I will see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye.